My name is Dr. Allison McDonald and I'm a professor in the Department of Biology at Wilfrid Laurier University. I basically study how all kinds of different organisms make energy on this planet and we all have to use energy because we have to do fantastic, wonderful things like drive cars or throw baseballs or do all kinds of things in our daily lives. So most of you probably know that things like plants are very efficient at making their own energy. They use energy from the sun called photosynthesis. They have these great little things inside them called chloroplasts, and they're basically converting that light energy into a useful form called ATP that they then use to do all kinds of great things. You and I are a little different in that we also make ATP, but we do it in a slightly different way. So when you have your big bowl of Spaghetti Jenner, all of that fuel is coming into your body, and your body uses small little things in cells called mitochondria to convert all of that fuel again into ATP. So most organisms use one or two of these kinds of pathways to make a lot of the energy that they do in their day-to-day -day activities. Now we do have some weird organisms on this planet that do things a little bit differently. And that's where my research sort of focuses on, is these alternative pathways or these different ways of making energy that a lot of organisms have. So you and I as people are actually really boring because we don't do a lot of these fantastic, interesting side things. So a lot of my research focuses on what do organisms do that's the same to make energy and what do they do that's kind of different or contrasts with what other organisms do. So in a typical day I do a little bit of a mixture of teaching, I do a little bit of research, I do a fair bit of sitting on committees, these kinds of service obligations, and then I also mentor several undergraduate and graduate student researchers that I have in my lab. One of the things that I would recommend is that you're a very resilient type of person. So science can sometimes be difficult because essentially what we're doing is coming up with hypotheses or guesses as to why we think things are happening. We do the experiment to test the hypothesis and more often than not we're actually incorrect or wrong. So you really have to be good about sort of taking that input and that feedback and putting it back into a new hypothesis. The other thing that I would sort of recommend if you're interested in being a scientist is that you actually be a fairly creative person. So we have, I think, this myth about science that it's really dry, scientists are very boring, you've all seen the movies where someone looks really nerdy, they've got their pocket protector and their lab coat on, and that's really not the reality. Science is a very creative enterprise. It's as creative as making a painting or playing a piece of music, for example. It's all about being able to solve problems.